Do I open it? Yeah. <laughs> this ain't good. I don't know why I've even got this. It's like my mum's purple. Look how bad that is, airbrush. <laughs> Oh, but this ain't recorded, is it? Is this recorded? What's up, GQ? I'm Declan Rice, and these are my 10 essential items. Football boots, something I can't live without, can't do my job without. And these boots here are my favorite boots of all time. Old school Predators accelerators, um, worn by famous David Beckham. I can't describe when I look at this boot what you feel like. They don't make football boots like this anymore. You know, growing up, these were the boots that were around. These are what my brothers used to wear. And as obviously as I've got older, they become harder and harder to get. So they have to make remakes. These are actually the originals. But at the moment, I just wear these in training. I want to keep them fresh. They're in good condition. So, and they're really hard to get now and expensive. So yeah, no. What's the biggest influence in football that you've ever had? Um, of course, Beckham's one, being, you know, who he is, massive idol for this country. What he done for England, the caps he got, you know, what he achieved in his career, he's an icon. Also, one of my favourites growing up was John Terry. I always wanted to do what, you know, he'd done on a football pitch. I tried to replicate him and, you know, now I've got a good relationship with, with him off the pitch. It's, it's pretty surreal, you know, because of what he'd done for, for Chelsea and what he'd done for England as well. My next essential item, and these are essential, and my favourite sweets, squashies. As soon as we finish this, these are getting opened and I'm eating them. <laughs> they just taste so good and I'm just a big lover for sweets, to be honest with you. You can see my face talking about sweets. It's just, um, yeah, it's a big craving of mine. I won't eat these every day, so when I, when I do have them, it's, uh, it's like a little treat to me. Before games, there's actually sweets around the change room you can have. Sometimes I'll pick up a handful of them and, and we'll have some before the game. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask you if you have a sweet tooth, but obviously you chose these. I've got a toothache. <laughs> That's what I have yeah. got at the minute. <laughs> I loved Skittles as a kid. Um, and then as I got older, they started to bring out more and more flavours, like a sour packet. I think when you go to America, there's like this purple packet you can get as well, which is just, they're unbelievable. I'll tell you what you've got to try and do for people watching. You've got to put a load in your mouth at once, chew them all together, and then you get like a little ball of Skittles, and it tastes so good. I sound like an experienced Skittle eater. <laughs> 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 my next essential my hat obviously this is one of of many with this hat i just like the look of it i like the print of it at the front white and black as well which goes with everything since i've kind of grown my hair long i've, I've been wearing my hats backwards all the time you know i just prefer that look at the minute is it ever under any circumstance acceptable to wear a hat sideways no nah. i don't think it would fit on my head side but it, it don't it wouldn't fit look <laughs> Imagine walking out like that, that's impossible. <laughs> Even just the feel of it, like, nah, I could never do that, ever. If I ever wore a hat out like that, I'd expect one of my friends to just tap it off me or something. Just, just keep it back to front and keep it simple. That's how I do it. My next essential item is my phone. Um, something I can't live without, even though it can be annoying that I'm always on it. It's just, you know, my life, social media, business, work. It's how my family contact me. My friends contact me. You know, if I didn't have my phone, I'd, yeah, I don't know what I would do, to be honest with you. What's your screen time? <laughs> it's bad. It is bad. I don't want to go into that because I've been getting hammered. It's actually funny, it's a funny story because at football, we all sit there around the table. And we go, what's, what's your screen time? What's your screen time? And we sit there and work it out. And even one of the boys last year had to delete Instagram because his screen time on Instagram was so bad. Um, but yeah, my screen time is bad. Been collecting watches for years now. It's a big hobby of mine, a big passion. I've got some some funky watches to be fair, whether they're rose gold, gold, steel, kind of mix and match it with anything. I don't specifically match a colour with an outfit. If I like the watch, I'll, I'll just wear the watch. Something I can't live without for sure. Obviously with what I'm doing as a profession, I need to dip into it every time after training, after games and Obviously, whilst I'm at home as well, so I need this. I need this on me every day. What are you carrying inside? Oh no! So open it. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't good. I don't know why I've even got this. It's like my mum's purple. Look how bad that is, airbrush. <laughs> oh, but this ain't recorded, is it? Yeah. Is this recorded? Which will be the one item you keep? It would have to be my aftershave. It would have to be. Um, it's so nice. Such a nice smell, and I'm a big. F big fan of aftershave so I feel like this is an essential item in my wash bag because you know, of course you want to smell good. What's your grooming routine before going to a football match? I used to do my hair and everything in the hotel before we travelled to a match and then one of the games last season at the start of the season I'd left my hair because I started to wear a hat a little bit more so I started to do my hair at games and then 
it's kind of been like a little bit of a ritual for me now just to do it you know in the sink in the changing room so for me i always get to the stadium do what i need to do and then about 20 minutes before i go out i'll go in and, and do my hair playstation controller of course fifa that's the main one that gets really competitive ultimate team's my main one i like to to go on there i like to put some money into it um just the excitement of you know opening packs opening players building your team it's exciting you know and you get to play against other players teams the beauty of being a footballer you get your own player card which is like 99 rated in everything so when you're coming up against someone else they know it's you playing so if you lose sometimes and you rage quit it's not good because you'll get a message like i've just beat you <laughs> But yeah, that ultimate team's the main one for me when I play FIFA. The best player at West Ham is Jared Bowen, by far. He plays every weekend in a thing called Weekend League. He's so good. The worst, I'm going to have to say Mikel Antonio. He's, he thinks he's good, but I've beat him a couple times. He's really competitive, a lot of talk. But I'm going to have to say he's the worst. I'm a massive trainer collector. I, I recently got a pair of the Virgil Leblanc Nike Air Forces, um, like Louis Vuitton. Um, collab. I've not worn them yet. I don't think I'm going to ever wear them, to be honest with you. They're in a nice box, you know, they're so special, obviously because he passed away, so I don't think I'm going to wear them at all. I think I'm going to keep them fresh and I think that'd be my only pair that I will never wear. What's your style tips on trainers? Like these, you couldn't wear these with a suit in my opinion. Nice pair of trousers or, you know, a nice tracksuit you can wear these with. I feel like with more chunkier trainers, is which I've more kind of gotten into over the last one or two years, I, I like to wear them with like a baggier oversized um, jean just because they sit nicer on top of the shoe. I feel like with these, you couldn't really wear skinny jeans with them. It just look too, I can't explain it. It just wouldn't look good for me. The beauty of golf is there's so many different shots you can play and you're constantly learning. It's just such a special sport and it's somewhere where I can go and switch off away from a football pitch, somewhere I can, you know, socialize with my friends, with my dad, with my brothers, have fun, be competitive try to get better at. There's just so many things that I love about golf and last couple of years I've really took it on and yeah, I really enjoy playing golf. I try to play as much as possible. What's your handicap? I'm playing off 12 currently, which is actually very good. Um, for me anyway, two years ago, I, I wasn't even playing on a golf course. I used to go up the range and you know, I used to go and have a laugh with my friends. When I first started playing, I was off about 24, but now I've come down to 12, so I'm really enjoying my golf, but I'm competitive, so I'm trying to get to single figures now. I'd have to say the person that always beats me is probably always my dad. As, as frustrating as it is, we're probably the same, hand yeah, we are the same handicap. He is just a, a typical, you know, old golfer, hits it low, but hits it straight and not very far, but it's just very good at getting around the golf course. And, you know, I like to try and play aggressive. So that's why he always beats me and he always winds me up about it, which isn't good. Um, and also someone I always beat is my brother, Jordan. He's a cheat. <laughs> he loves to cheat on the golf course. He's one of them. He'll hit it into the woods, says he can't find his ball. And I'll see him like dropping the ball to say he's found it. He's one of them ones. Um, I always wind him up about it, to be fair, but he's also a very good golfer, but he's not better than me. That was it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.